but neither have the preceding centuries. So I don't really know what people think we're going to actually do to them. Eat them all. Or something like this, a bit of cannibalism or something. Mixing pop... With politics. I'm celebrating my culture. I'm an Irish Roma and I am proud of who I am and I am proud of my people. This series will get behind the headlines and popular perceptions to discover why gyps gypsies was good. We'll see if opportunity knocks for the organizers and entrants at one of the most extravagant events in the gypsy calendar. Travelers got talent. They're getting near, so you better pray you folks and gypsies are coming to get you. And we'll meet travelers and gypsies with tales to tell and dreams to live. The prize money is a thousand pounds. That money would be a good help. There'll be tears <laughs> and tantrums. We'll turn the cameras off a minute. There'll be singing, dancing, and a few fashion statements. But there'll also be travellers' rights. There's a definite atmosphere of tension here. None of them know where they're going to go. And travellers' wrongs. Do you like your teeth? Yeah, I do like my teeth. Yeah, I do. Goodbye. As we blend sunbeds and caravans with pride and prejudice. I'm going to fall over. Oh. <laughs> this is a gypsy life for me. Sing, sir. Can you dance? What about a wine? Jake Bowers is a gypsy man on a mission. Um, can you sing? Can you dance? Can you play the spoons? With a nod to TV talent shows, he's organising a competition to discover Britain's brightest and best travelling talent. Can you sing? Traveller's Got Talent is a national competition for people from gypsy, Roman traveller communities to prove the world wrong. I, I, I can play guitar and I can sing, but I don't believe I have a talent. Currently, we're viewed by most people as kind of a social problem, not actually even a culture. But if you speak to people that are here today, Roman gypsies and Irish travellers are proud ethnic minorities that have a history and a culture going back hundreds of years. Yet in the eyes of most people, we don't even have that. We have a long history of being great entertainers, great musicians and singers. In the last couple of generations, our musical ability is dying. Our singing ability is still there. So it's to try and pump a bit of life into that, to encourage people to go into the entertainment business in the future and, and hopefully uh, help their dreams take flight. Today, Jake's hunting for trouble in their eyes at Stowe, one of the country's busiest gypsy horse fairs. So we need girls that can sing, boys that can sing, dance, come and enter. Trouble is, today's fairgoers aren't keen to compete. They are out there, like I said, they are out there. She wouldn't sing for us, but they are out there. If I buy you a bottle of vodka, will you do it? What about you boys, can you sing or dance? Come on, come on in. Back up, back up. One of the things you find about gypsy people in particular is we're quite shy people. We've got this reputation of being very loud and brash and ostentatious, but actually one of the biggest challenges we're going to have with Travis Got Talent is getting that talent to have the confidence to come out on stage. How come you're so shy? But Jake's got a secret weapon. Some of them are shy. Talent-seeking siren, Gentina Chapman. Got any talent? Travellers are no different to anybody else. Of course we can make it into the mainstream entertainment um, industry. Gentina's a gypsy girl and pop star with three hit singles behind her, so is expertly placed to spot talent. He likes fighting. He's a cage fighter. It could be a first, cage fighting. Yeah, cage fighting. <laughs> what about breakdancing? It can't be that different from cage, <laughs> cage fighting, can it? I'm a traveller myself and have had three singles and an album successfully. Uh, travellers are no different to anybody else and, and shouldn't be alienated for being a traveller. But Gentina is also a former Wonderbra model, and today it's the talent that's spotting her. Here's the number to call. Use your number then. It's on the bottom. If you believe in yourself, if you're anybody, if you believe in yourself, then you will achieve. Believe, receive, achieve. 
It works. Oh, you smell good. Right, That's yeah. a start, yeah. You smell lovely. Yeah. So, uh, I don't smell lovely. I smell a fake tan. It stinks. Jake's got a very hidden talent. So hidden, we just can't find yeah, it. Nobody's found it yet. Jake's also joined on his hunt for talented competitors by Tracy Neddick. Tracy and Jake ran the competition last year, and there are still some old scores to settle. I had the winners last year, first and third place, and Jake just, you know, he, he was happy for them winning, you know, but you could just see that look on his face where he just wasn't pleased my contestants win. There's some definite rivalry going on. You know, Tracy won last year. I mean, he's, I, I let her win. I let her win. This year, gloves are off. She's going down. Queensbury rules. Is it, gloves off. Yeah. Is it? This is bare knuckle. Yeah, bare, bare knuckle. The first of five regional talent show heats is in just four weeks' time, so Jake needs to find some competitors. Thousands of leaflets, thousands of people. So somebody here is going to take That's some notice. Good. Can you sing? You could sing her. No. no. Can I just get you to fill that in, please? Fortunately, it's not long before Tracy and Jake enlist today's first ambitious applicants. I've sung since I was younger, so it doesn't mean a lot to me. I'm always singing day and night all the time, whether it's to myself or to others. Danny Jeffs and his sister Kelly Marie will audition in the first heat at Epsom. I'm so pleased. So just being here and getting drowned has been worth it, just to get <laughs> two, two lovely singers and brother and sister as well. I think that's really nice. As long as I get myself seen, and people hear me sing. If I get somewhere, I get somewhere. If I don't, I don't. Either way, I've tried. Danny and Kelly Marie aren't the first entrants to have signed up. In fact, they'll be up against some stiff competition. My name is James Hawkins. Good boy, Harley. This is my pony, Harley. He's three years old, and I've trained him to do lots of tricks. <laughs> He's full of beans this morning. <laughs> They say never work with animals or children. He is quite cheeky. And it looks like James has got his work cut out. <laughs> In a bid to win the competition, James is trying to train Harley to wave. Harley, wave. Wave. Good boy. And to prove that he's more than a one-trick pony, Harley's also learning to balance on blocks. Harley and James met two years ago, but this is a lifelong partnership. He's like my best friend, really. He's, um, I spend every minute of my spare time with Harley. Hey. No. He's just a bit keen. <laughs> the competition is a big deal for James and Harley. <laughs> I have to clean it up. <laughs> Let's hope they're not completely pony and trap. While James puts Harley through his paces in their back paddock, talent show judge Jensina Chapman is busy keeping up appearances in her front room. Look at that girl, she's shameful, getting herself all undressed for the cameras. This spray tan is special. It's key to Gentina's preparations for the upcoming heat. Freezing. It's fantastic, I mean, I love a spray tan. who I am and this is what I do. The only problem is with this is the bedding, you know, because my bedding's all white, so I end up sleeping on the sofa till the thing wears off. As an ex-underwear model, rap artist and songwriter, Gentine is a very modern gypsy girl with a very colourful history. I love a bit of ink. I've got a star here and I used to go out with Keith and Flint from The Prodigy where we gave each other a star. Young love, rock and roll love, that is. Feels good. Being a travelling girl, I never really thought much would come out of life. I left school at quite a young age um, to help out at home and stuff. But I had a dream, and all I knew is that I wanted to be a singer, so I ran away to London. I was 15 years old, and I went with two rucksacks, and I, and I knew I'm going to do it. And I did. Now a mum of two, Gentina's life has taken a different track. This is my Annie. Annie, do you like to have a spray tan? Annie is just one, and son Ralph is five. 
Oh, this is good. Now, you know, I have two children and I'm a little bit more settled than what I used to be, not as mad. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Ralph, that's your mother, you lunatic. Oh. I don't think I would ever go back to modelling again, but singing and songwriting, I still do, because it's a big passion of mine. Gentina's one of an estimated 300,000 gypsies and travellers in Britain today. Around half live in houses, the other half in caravans on illegal, council or private sites. La, 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 la. In Surrey, a teenage traveller dreaming of fame and fortune in her chalet is tuning up for the competition. 13-year-old Scarlett Lee lives on a private site near Epsom. La, 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 la. Scarlett won her regional heat last year and has got her sights set on winning the grand final this time round. I would love to come first place. She'd like to win, I'd but she, if she win, doesn't, but... she won't be disappointed. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Mm. Are you nervous? No, not really. No. Scarlett and her mum, Daisy, think the competition could propel this talented teen onto a bigger stage. You won't be singing for the Queen. The Queen goes up on Derby Day, don't she? My biggest ambition is to be a singer, become famous. When I get up in the morning, I sing, cleaning up, I sing. <laughs> Before I go to bed, I sing, just sing all day, really. I'd love for her to be a singer, to realise her dream. I'd like her to see a bit of life. Don't get me wrong, I mean, we're Rome many travelling people, so she knows the rules of our culture. But I would like her to live life. I don't want her to get married at 16 or 17, have children, and she's seen no life herself. I love all my children the same, but I'm so, so proud of Scarlett. I feel like sometimes my heart's going to burst. I'll be crying when she's singing, cry if she loses and cry if she wins. So I can't, I can't win anyway, can I? <laughs> With a handful of hopeful travelling talent signed up, Jake's visiting Epsom Downs, home to the world-famous racecourse and venue for the first heat of his lesser-known talent competition. Epsom Downs and the Epsom Racecourse is of huge historical significance to the gypsy community. It's a place where gypsies and travellers always used to come and stop. And as long as there's been a Derby horse race here, there's been gypsy people here. So when they created the race course with an act of parliament, within that is a, is a stipulation that gypsy people should be able to use these downs for air and exercise. So we're talking a 30 metre square this side of that track. The heat is to be held on the same day as the prestigious Epsom Derby and will be part of a huge festival of racing. We're thinking that the... The stage will be here. There'll be a fairground and market stalls catering for thousands of racegoers, including the Queen. And Jake wants to ensure he gets the best plot. Yeah, we don't want the bar too close. We don't want it too far away either. No, it's good. <laughs> the first heat of this unique competition is just a month away, and there's a lot riding on its success. I do feel a bit nervous. But, you know, they're slowly trickling in, the contestants, you know, so I just hope the people with the real talent that I know that's out there are prepared to come out and show it to the rest of the world. Build it and they will come. I really believe in that.